I ran into an issue a couple months ago where my mind was super cloudy and I couldn't think of new ideas. And normally to jog my memory when I'm having cloud brain, I'll take a walk around the block or I'll walk from the house to a coffee shop or something just to get the brain going. But it didn't matter what I tried, nothing was working for weeks at a time. And I realized it was because I hadn't read a book in the last three or four weeks. I usually transition between books and podcasts, but podcasts for me, don't have the same power to inspire as a good biography or a good business book does. So in this video, I wanna go through my five favorite books and hopefully one of those will help jog your memory if you're feeling blocked or you have cloud brain. All five of these are gonna be biographies instead of business books because a biography is, it's like a life hack. It's living somebody else's entire life story. So for me, what that does is helps paint a fuller picture so I can see how the world works. And it's always easier to do that using somebody's life versus having somebody spell out point by point the lessons they learned. First book on the list is George Lucas by Brian J. Jones. This tells the story of George Lucas, who you might know from the Star Wars franchise, but while most people look at him as an auteur or as a director, he's actually an amazing businessman. He funded the prequels to Star Wars completely independently. They were the largest independent movies in history at the time. So somebody who's willing to take that risk is already worth studying. That's already interesting. But if you also take into account that his first movie was a 50s diner style film, and his next movie was Star Wars, you'll see a guy who's willing to throw everything away to take his artistic expression to the next level. Lucas is also a founder of Skywalker Sound, which is a sound effects company that revolutionized the way almost all films use sound effects, which you can think about as a huge business to business agency. Add in LucasArts and then all of the movies he did outside of the Star Wars franchise, and you've got a hustler, you've got an entrepreneur. Book two is I Want My MTV by Rob Tenenbaum. The book tells the story of how MTV came together. And what I didn't realize before reading this book is building a TV channel is also B2B sales. It's a group of three or four people that come together to first get a backer from one major corporation. And then it goes through how they evolved, what programming is gonna go on the network and how they built a team. At one point it tells the story of one of the MTV founders going after Mick Jagger, who's from the Rolling Stones and getting Mick Jagger to say, I want my MTV. And from there, he was able to show that video to other pop stars at the time and recruit them all into this video marketing campaign that he ran. I want my MTV. MTV Music Television. And that's what drove a lot of the initial watchers to MTV. Super interesting, super scrappy business hustle right there. The next one is Dean and Me by Jerry Lewis. Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis were two members of the group Martin and Lewis, which was the biggest comedy duo in the world from about 1945 to 1955. Dean Martin eventually ended up in the Rat Pack with Frank Sinatra, but this story is written from the point of view of Jerry Lewis, who some might see as the sidekick of the group, and it talks about how they put a group together that became the most famous in the world. It goes through how they navigated the mob. It goes through a positioning switch. At one point, they were just wearing normal clothes on stage and they made the decision to only go up wearing tuxedos. And as soon as they started wearing tuxes on stage, that's when it became a real act and the amount of money they were making skyrocketed. Number four is Those Guys Have All the Fun by James Andrew Miller. This is the backstory of how ESPN came together. Similar to the MTV book in terms of it being an oral history, they interviewed a bunch of people from the past and outlined how this network came together. But the story is different. ESPN was funded outside the TV business. This guy did B2B selling to find a independent company that wanted to fund his show. So normally they do oil, but the guy's son had enough money to fund ESPN and the founders of ESPN found this guy and got funded that way. ESPN opened their offices not in New York and not in LA, but out in Bristol, Connecticut. And it goes through some of the issues you might deal with having a team that doesn't necessarily live in the location that you're in. Most of the talent they wanted was based in New York and based in LA because they're in broadcast, they're in TV. And the book covers deal making that needed to take place to bring people up to Bristol. The last book recommendation is Total Recall by Arnold Schwarzenegger. I did a video in the past about how you can have unlimited careers in your life. And one of the major inspirations behind that 
is Arnold Schwarzenegger, who went from greatest bodybuilder in the world to real estate mogul. He owned a lot of buildings in LA, to movie star, to governor, and now he's basically doing whatever he wants. Little known fact about Arnold Schwarzenegger, he was a millionaire before he became an actor, just from his real estate. And the biggest inspiration here is you don't have to be one thing just because you start as that one thing. Arnold Schwarzenegger could have burned out like the dozens of other bodybuilders out there, but he didn't. He owned his career and he won in the end. And he did everything that he wanted to do. If you grab one of those books, let me know what you think down in the comments. I'd love to know your thoughts. Or if you've read one of them, let me know. Thanks for watching the video. We're trying to hit 100,000 subs this year. So if you could share this with one or two people you think would find value in it, that would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you need marketing support for your digital agency, check out experiment27.com. Thanks.